Hello, chat. How you doing? I've got my cat with me. Got something to drink. I think that's all I need. I am placated. Uh, and now I have you. Right. You're part of this little thing I've got going on. Uh, but, uh, yeah. We won't be finishing tonight, but we will make a solid dent in this game. But, uh, right now, let's chat. How we doing? You're at the gym? Your thighs are cooked bacon right now. You know, I did leg day a few days ago. You know, I don't know why. The rest of my body doesn't get ne anywhere near as sore as my legs do. Evening, Dart. Hope your cat is doing well. How old is he, by the way? Well, it's a she. And I think she's like 10 years old now. I'm a little... Yeah, I think she's about 10. It's either... It's plus or minus. So, good age for a cat. Yesterday you asked if I'm playing Silent Hill 3 on PC. No, I'm playing it on my PS2 that I've been preserving for 13 years now. Hope you're doing well. You preserve so when you say you're preserving it, does that mean you're like cleaning the inside of it out, or are you like changing out the capacitors and stuff like that? I've seen preservation work in older consoles like that. It's kind of it takes some dedication. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Steal my heart again? Is that what I've done? I've taken your love? Your heart belongs to me. No, you should offer that up to someone who needs it. Like, uh, you know, a dying billionaire who's, like, you know, on his third. You're more important than us, you know. Did you know that the actor who played Koten Khan is Ghost of Tsushima? And Ghost of Tsushima played Attila the Hun in Night of the Museum. Well, I never watched the Night of the Museum movie, so I did not know that. Didn't even know the character was in that. You got to cuddle a hot guy in a cat costume. Congratulations. That is that a life goal you achieved? So I can mark that one off the bucket list. Cuddled hot cat boy. Stream past 10 when I get home. Hey, well, I'll still be here. I'm going till midnight for myself. Living the dream. Hey, we all don't don't hate. We all want to like you know have something warm to cuddle against, whether that be human or cat, or cat person. That's a normal party. Oh, so that's not even something that's like not even remarkable for you. It's like oh, that's like it's a Wednesday. That cat boy Tuesday. You're demolishing a place scarier than Silent Hill, a mentally ill methamphetamine abandoned camper. I'm truly terrified. Well, a camper ain't that big. So I think you'll see any threat coming. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, unless it's like there's explosives in there and that's what you're afraid of. I mean, I, I've, I've literally seen like meth heads under, living under a bridge before. They, you know, wait till the meth, the meth users are there in the environment. Have I ever been to a Comic-Con? Nope. I could have been. There's one actually not held too far away from me. Like a Comic Con event every year. Uh, I just never bothered to go. <laughs> Don't make me quote the Street Fighter movie. I did that just a few nights ago. That's no threat to me. That's like, hey, cool. <laughs> what are my people? Meth Fighters is a Street Fighter style. Meth Fighters as a. You, oh, you're saying you want a Street Fighter style game, only it's meth heads. You're a sick person, you know that? <laughs> th th we typically call that bum fights, alright? It was, it was a bit of an outrageous thing in the 2000s. I found contraptions I cannot explain with words. Oh, come on. They were likely just like very dirty, like glass bowls and bathtub devices. Unless they set up traps in there. Hey, Lucky, what's up? How you doing? Hmm, excuse me. That soda coming up. Soda wants freedom chat. Burps are just the mass cry for freedom. Uh, of the old, you know, the air bubbles. I don't mind saying it, I'm stupid. A homeless guy tried casting what I think was a spell on people. Did it work? 
It, look, if there's anyone who's gonna be magical in our society, I think it should be homeless people. Uh, how's the game going? Well, we're past the worst bit of it, so we're now in Silent Hill proper tonight. This is where the game gets, you know, pretty good. Well, it's a bit, you know, it, it, not like it wasn't good before, but, you know, the solid, you know, the really good part. I can't speak tonight. My, my energy is drained. <laughs> I've been editing all day and my body is like, God, you've been sitting in front of your computer for like eight hours straight. What is wrong with you? Go touch grass, hug tree, lick lizard, dive into like some murky river water. Anything to get back in tune with like the artificial nature around you. <clears throat> Can't spell, but you know, you know what? I can barely spell either. You play any of their JRPGs besides uh, Final Fantasy? Uh, yeah, I've played quite a few. I've played uh, Parasite Eve. That's a JRPG, even if it doesn't always feel like one. Uh, Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, uh, Legends of Dragoon. And I'm pretty sure there's been a few others here and there. <laughs> Cute emotes. That's like Lucky's favorite pair of emotes, actually. I believe it actually, those are emotes from actually Aerith's voice actor's uh, Twitch channel, too. I have been on the road for seven hours. Why is America so big? Look. We just, it's called, you know, Manifest Destiny, all right? We have to be from sea to signing sea, otherwise, you know, God would be angry. So we just, like, kept on moving west till we reached that, you know, Pacific. You want more trad wife Shauna and her sandwich making antics? Was she really trad wife though? She has a Tifa one as well. Mm. So mini high fives. Oh, there it is. You're gonna lurk? Hey, lurk away. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna lurk <laughs> chat. The streamer himself is gonna lurk. I'm like, yeah, lurk I'm lurking now. Don't expect speaking. <laughs> Would you expect me to talk while doing my live stream? What's my favorite fruit snack? If well, if it's usually just gonna be fruit itself, so it'd probably be an apple. I don't mind an apple. Good old apple, just like nice crunch to it. I haven't watched Space Ghost in forever. I, forgot. I I don't think I ever watched Space Ghost. I would see it on like I don't know, watch like a superhero talk show. <laughs> what about that? Apparently that's like back again, right? What's my st what's my stealth at? What's your stealth at? I, I mm, how am I supposed to how do I measure my stealth? I'm I'm big and tall. I don't probably not great. Did you ever watch Scooby Doo and think how come no one ever tried shooting the monsters? Well, I've never watched Scooby Doo before in my life, or like at least never sat down and watched an episode of it because it always seemed kind of boring. And I always assume no one tried to shoot the monsters because they were just like teenagers. They didn't have the, a gun on them. Also, it was a children's cartoon. Wasn't there a castle called Incel and a place called Neat Legend of Dragoon? Yup, well, sort of close to close enough that I made jokes out of them anyways. During our runtime in that game. Uh, I think you might get a kick out of what Space Ghost Coast to Coast. I know what it's about now. I just remember when it was on TV, I would never watch it. I was like, oh, God, I don't want to watch a talk show. <laughs> you know how to tag people in comments because I have no clue. You mean in YouTube chat? Uh, you type, you start off typing an at symbol. Here, I'll show you. See the symbol here? I'm putting it in chat. You type that first, and then you start typing the name of the person you want to uh, at. So let's give you an example. So let's say I want to at this person usually like after like the first two or two letters of the name it will pop up so then you can like at like that and then you can either like continue filling it out or you can like click on the option the, the people in the chat with that name and it'll give you know boom then you write your message that simple all you need to do is put at name Or red, 
and apples. I don't really mind either one. Usually I'll go with sweet uh, honey crisp apples are actually the, my go-to. Uh, yeah, if I'm going to get an apple, I'll go with honey crisp, which is typically like a reddish yellow kind of apple. Real question, you have a, oh, a real one, do you? So all the previous ones are fake. Real question, Guardian. It's one of those weird, like, statements in English. It doesn't really make any sense. Real question. I'm sorry about all my fake ones before. Favorite dessert? Uh, honestly, probably pudding. Yeah, I, I haven't had pudding in forever, but I do remember liking pudding. So I think it mainly came from me being a kid and my mom would let me lick the, the mixing bowl clean whenever she made it. I'm sorry, but when you're a kid and you get to lick the mixing bowl clean, that is like a joy that nothing in adulthood can, can really compare to, of licking the mixing bowl clean. Of whether it be cake batter or pudding or whatever, uh, that was like, this is the highest peak in your lifetime. Bro, look at that, there's a bot in Twitch chat. Banshee, good frag, best viewers and followers on stream, stream boo. Goodbye. Oh, it's alright, Bandit. He got to him before I could kill him myself. His blood was supposed to be mine. I had the, the smell of the hunt in my nostrils. I love how you actually explained it and you weren't sarcastic at all, and I think most other streamers would have been a dick about explaining it. Uh, well, that's the difference between me and them. I'm better than them at this. I treat people who watch me with actually like, you know, some, hum with, well, well, what would you call it? Humbleness? I don't know. I'm just a regular dude. I don't have no place or standing to like talk down to anyone asking me a question. Unless I've, unless they're like pestering me after I've said I don't want to answer something. That'd be the only time. But if someone just asks me a question, if I don't want to answer, I'll just say, uh, no, nah, I don't think I want to answer that one. Uh, I don't really have a chip on my shoulder, thankfully. So, ah, I can, I can be a perfectly reasonable person. How about that? Uh, but thank you for noticing, though. You see Elon Musk is charging people $5 to create an account to combat bots. It's been that way on Twitter X for a while now, right? But yeah, there's plenty of bots out there. I, I, I don't really pay much. Thankfully, I don't use Twitter or you know, X now, whatever. I have the account, but I almost never, ever use it. Hey, Darian, have you heard about Fear and Hunger? It seems like... I've actually played the first, I think, four episodes of it. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, no, no. You're thinking... I was thinking of something else. It's an RPG? Uh, maybe I have it then. Dark build different? Uh, I don't really think I'm that different. I just think I'd, I've never let, like, the content creator, uh, hubris get in, you know, into my system. I've kept it at bay. And that's primarily by living in, like, a pretty normal place and being surrounded by people who don't really care about what I do. So I'm never getting, like, high off my own hype. Have you ever watched home movies? Uh, are you, is this, like, something specific called home movies or the actual home movies? Because I've watched neither. I don't know why I didn't just say no. Sometimes it's highlighted and I don't, uh, and it don't really confusing uh what are you or what are you typing on this is not official are you on your browser or your phone or something uh, i'm not really sure how it might look to you if you could manipulate space time at will but you have to give up your fingers or your choice of your choice would you i have to give up four fingers of my choice and i get to become a god is this really a even a conundrum <laughs> I get to be, I get powers of a god. I get to lose my pinky and ring finger on each hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll give that up. <laughs> That's worth. I'm a man of the people. Power ups for the people. From this day forth, all the citizens of this great nation will receive one free kind of monster energy per week. Let it be known. Do I listen to 21 Pilots? Their next... No, I, I, I'm actually not much of a music guy. I've gone on record to state that uh, my music tastes are either non-existent or they've been trash forever. Like, I don't really have a cons consistent, like, musical taste. I know when I like something, I hear it, but I don't usually ever become, like, a fan of anything in particular. Uh, so it's a little hard to even describe it. 
Uh, but I, I was especially bad with musical taste as a kid. So I, I usually don't talk too much about music other than like, oh, that's, that song's pretty good. Monster is for Finn boys? Well, sign me up and put a tail in my asshole, alright? Actually, don't drink Monster. I wear any drinks and all, but I like the joke about them. Uh, but you can still put the tail in my ass, though. Those seem pretty comfy. French croissant is the only real croissant. Let's get this, this French nationalism out of here. Get it out. Look, if I want to, like, buy a can of Pillsbury Doughboy croissant dough and call it a croissant, I will. You can't stop me. What are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do? I have a huge closet of furry kink gear. Come on. <laughs> you know what? I, I applaud your bravery. I really do. You 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 fly that flag. You're like, I don't care. Let the world deal cringe. I'll look down upon them and say, continue. Uh, but you know what? About the only... I don't think I own any kink gear myself. I'm, I'm ashamed of myself, honestly. Okay, and follow you then? What? Because I, I'm, I'm going to make up you know, an American croissant. Look, I didn't say the American croissant was better. I just said, hey, it's a it's a rolled up, you know, twisty piece of dough at the end of the day with butter in it. It ain't that fucking fancy. Just letting you know I have a free copy for a game for you. I will let you know when I send... Oh, you don't need to send me anything. I'm good. You already sent me like a Dreamcast, man. So, uh, you enjoy that. Do I want that tail? I, 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 I really don't. Usually when people, like, send me, like, gag gifts, I, uh, I hide them somewhere. Like that copy of Mein Kampf a friend got me back in on, like, my 20th birthday. <laughs> I had to throw that out after a bit. Like, didn't want to be caught with that stuff. I have a full closet of fursuits. You know how many fursuits you can hold in a closet that's normal size? Not many. Those are huge. Used to have cuff restraints, wisps, gags, etc. <laughs> Chad, this guy had sex, or at least he was prepared to. You didn't really read this, Dorgan? Uh, Nostradex, which chocolate with chocolate? Uh, I, 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 I can't read everything, all right? Uh, but yes, here in America, we sometimes do mix croissants with uh, other things. Uh, best comment you ever got on my videos? I, I don't know. I don't usually keep them you know, com video comments in my head. Do you have any th thoughts on D4, Dark Dreams Don't Die? I own it, and I've never played it. <laughs> That's my comment on it. I never got around to playing it. I bought it during, like, a Steam sale or something. Most cursed comment you've ever gotten? It's definitely something from a, ch a Twitch chat before. <laughs> definitely something there. Dude sent you a Dreamcast? Yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably, like, modify it at some point in the future. To add an HDMI output to it, as well as, like, remove the laser drive in it. And so I can, like, play off memory cards. Read faster? I'm, I'm reading two chats here. I feel like I'm doing pretty good, alright? You, you Simba down, boy. Simba. How's the FF7 video coming along? I am over halfway done with the editing, so I am in the final stages now. I just need to finish up editing the video, the actual content of the video together. And then I, you know, gotta watch. It's probably gonna be, I, I might be able to keep it under the length of the FF16 video by a few minutes. That's my current hope, that it won't be longer than that. Uh, but I uh, finished that up, and then I, I also need to make a very short video for like the announcement of a Patreon. And then I can like put the, all my, launch the Patreon, launch the Patreon announcement video, then, you know, with all the stuff. And then we can eventually put the FS7 video on YouTube as well. I refuse to recognize France as a legitimate country. Well, do you have a seat at the UN table? Wukong Black Myth, a Vietnamese streamer, got scammed by fake developers and got his YouTube hacked. It took him a few days to get back. They sent him a demo for the game and it was a virus. Yeah, I've actually had people try to send me fake games before for giving to download them. Uh, here's, the, here's how it's actually very simple to avoid this. Don't if you're a YouTube or a content creator whatsoever, never download a game someone links you if it isn't coming from like Steam or Epic or itch.io. 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 I can't say that. You know, actual marketplaces where real games are sold. 
I've had like in over the course of last year like four or five attempts from like some scammer wanting to take control of my social media accounts by enticing me to download a fake game off a website. It would usually be some kind of like very quickly thrown together like pixel art or like screenshots or even like a, a, sh a brief video. But then when you go looking for like playthroughs of the game anywhere else, uh, there are none and there's no media whatsoever. And even if you use like you, if you download it with using your, uh, you know, your spyware protection, or in a shell, it'll instantly pop up like this is a virus. Stop! Kill it. Do I prefer X Men or Avengers? I am not a fan of comic book characters, but I will take the X Men any day over the Avengers. I'm a good guy. Uh, I've never screwed anyone over. Yet. You have a code for Don't Starve? Uh, had for years. Do I want... I actually own Don't Starve. I've just never bothered playing it. Blue Moo, Blue Moo. Blue Moo. Uh, Dark is unfathomably based. Beast. Face red pilled, uh, whatever. <laughs> you know, I'll, sure, I am based. I, I appreciate this comment. Dargan based. You may be the first person who have ever called me unironically based, by the way. That is now your title. That is your legacy. This man is like discovered. And my hype for tomorrow's JoJo chapter? Uh, I actually don't even remember what days JoJo. Uh, Lands comes out. I just like notice it up on the subreddit and check it out. It's like, oh, a new chapter today? No, nice little surprise. You never know when I pull the katana out. Okay, I, I, I will tell you right now, I do not own a katana. Uh, I, I would feel ashamed of owning like just some kind of fake katana that I would like have to like put on the wall somewhere. It's just, you know what? Look, unless you're Japanese, you probably shouldn't own a katana. It's gonna like just get you're just gonna get derided for owning it because you're gonna be like labeling yourself as like a hardcore weeb. Uh, when you say you've never screwed someone over, you mean you've never screwed before? We need to get this man laid. You know, I'm you're reading into that comment a little too hard, I'm afraid. But I'll let you have your fantasies. Man, I can't. I'm glad my favorite streamer is a virgin. Just like me. Now I can really connect with him. You have a real katana? Do you keep it like hidden in the closet? <laughs> Please don't tell me it's hanging on your wall. Don't feel ashamed. They're not I didn't say they're bad swords, I just said it you know, for weeaboos, they're like a stigma now. You see it and you automatically I gotta assume this person is a little bit too much in anime. Unhealthy level. Especially if it's like the only piece of like Japanese art they own in their home. Like this, a katana. It's in the corner with your other swords. Okay, I guess if you have other swords with it and it's like group of those, then it then it kind of detra distracts from that. Like, have it next to like your, your, your Viking axe and a couple broad swords. incredibly thirsty because I had like I guess salty food earlier so my my body's like give me that <laughs> give me that fluid fluid streamer if someone gifted you a five foot Sephiroth Masamune would you not accept five foot what does this that's a five foot sword is like nowhere near the length of Sephiroth Masamune that's like a two meter long katana all right <laughs> This music is different from last night's menu. I think I'm in a different menu, actually. What's my bonkai? Oh shit, I have not thought about bleach in a while. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Uh, I, I, I don't know, I usually gotta go something overpowered, right? Uh, stops time, there you go. Most overpowered thing possible. You know what'll help cure your thirst? Your favorite drink, red wine. No, I got Diet Pepsi next to me. That's that's like the, uh, the Chad Pepsi is like the wine of the South. 
It's like, oh, yes, with your, with your steak and caviar, sir. A delicious Diet Pepsi. Or is it into a long stem glass? It's like a sprig of mint on the side. Now, the band will come and play for you, my sir. We're like an hour and a half past schedule. Okay, you're not talking about me, because I am perfectly on schedule. My stream started at 8 p.m. Maybe you got used to, like, the FF7 streams, where I started them at 7. Uh, I was doing that because I needed to play more of the game each time. Most folks go with katanas are crap, and others go katanas are like lightsabers. Uh, well, from my understanding, katanas, uh, you do have to really know what you're doing to even use one. Uh, you have to almost, like, treat them like a razor blade, and you don't chop with them. You have to almost, like, pull the blade, uh, the cutting edge across whatever it connects with. Like, a, it's like a razor or something. Because if you try to, like, chop with it, it won't really do much, because it's not a very heavy blade. It doesn't have the weight to help carry through. So, yeah, you have to, like, just, like, shh, razor, razor through things, the way I heard it described. Here I was, like, bad-mouthing Onigatanas, and I, and I know how to use them, apparently. <laughs> Wake me up an hour, or the house will burn down. Or do you got something on the stove? You got something on the stove? The art of making katanas is lost as well. I've seen plenty of people making, like, traditional katanas on YouTube. Of, like, old Japanese masters and stuff. Even, like, using traditional, like, smelting methods. And, like, the Tamahagane steel. Guardian is such a badass. I'm not really. I mean, I'm just playing video games and talking. That ain't really anything that badass. You can do it yourself. It's like you turn on a piece of software and boom, you're, you're doing what I'm doing. There's a store in your city that sells brass knuckles as paperweights. Is that how they legally get away with selling them? Oh, these are paperweights. Hmm. Old edge weapons are not good compared to most things these days. Uh, yeah, we just have better steel these days. And manufacturing processes. A lot more impurities in the metal back then. Did you get done with Resident Evil? D done playing it? Yeah. Haven't started making a video on it yet. That'll come later. Uh, but yeah, I've been playing Silent Hill 3 for the next past couple days. Should be able to finish it by tomorrow. And then I will probably stop streaming for a couple days while I finish up work on the FF7 video. And then come back strong after that and with, like, doing some more stuff. Uh, I got a busy schedule coming up, chat. Gotta get this FF7 project over, launch a Patreon, then make some more content for that, then make a Stellar Blade video, uh, then I'll play a Resident Evil video, then a Hellblade video. Busy, busy times ahead. Busy, busy chat. A busy man, businessman, as I say. Hmm. Hmm. Dart just smashing. Dart just be smashing. Well, no, you see, I, I just need to make more money because everything's more expensive. Everything's so expensive these days, Shaq. Can we go back to 2019 when things were affordable? Just finished Resident Evil 1. Currently halfway through Resident Evil 2. And Jesus, these zombies don't die. Uh, well, that's why you're kind of expected to not actually fight all of them, but run around the ones you can and only shoot the ones that are in choke points. That way you don't burn through your ammo too much. How's Dex? She was sleeping on my floor a minute ago, but I think she, like... She doesn't like being in here when I'm streaming, because I don't think she likes the sound of my voice, unlike you guys. So, whenever I'm streaming, she will usually leave the room. Kitty cat? Yeah, I got I got my gray tabby named Dex. <clears throat> wow, I lost my voice. Dex. There we go. You know what else watched the Fallout show? Uh, I heard it was pretty alright. I, I haven't seen it though. Do you think adaptive difficulty is a good mechanic? As long as it's optional, I would say. Uh, but I'm assuming you mean adaptive difficulty the way some games do it, where if you're struggling, it will give you a few extra items and like a room you can go into. Like Resident Evil 4 and like other touch games will do like those are 
not so much adaptive difficulty, it's like meant to keep you in a stressful, like, conser you know, ammunition conserved state throughout most of the game. So like if, it, if the game notices you don't have, have much ammo left, it will like spawn in some ammo in the next area uh, when you reach it, just so you'll be able to actually get through it without getting your, bashing your head against the wall. Uh, that's more like an anti-frustration measure. How old is my cat? I think she's about 10 years old now. I got her right around the time I started doing YouTube. Tell Dex your cat Cordelia says hi. Meow. <laughs> there you go, I told her. She looked at me. Adapt adaptive difficulty is the worst coping, coping mechanic ever. I don't know, man. There's been plenty of games where uh, not having something like that to spawn in a few extra resources when I'm like basically locked in and can't go back and get new stuff. Would have been a lifesaver. Now, you may be able to argue, like, well, you should have just been more careful playing up to that. And that is an argument. Uh, but that doesn't stop me with, like, I gotta start this whole fucking game over now. <laughs> I just gotta play through the beginning again. Follow is very worth the watch. Among the best video games to live live action. Well, you know what? You say that, but, you know... We're going to be getting, uh, what, what's his name? Shadow the Hedgehog is going to be played by John Wick. Which is fitting because Sh Shadow the Hedgehog did have a gun in one of his games. I wonder if that's what convinced them. What's the worst soft lock you had in a game, in a, ba in a bad game? Well, the worst soft lock I ever had in a game was in Final Fantasy Tactics. When I locked after, you fight one fight outside a castle, then you go in, you get a save, and then you go inside the castle. And then you get locked into like a really, really hard boss fight, which is a one-on-one -on -one with this guy who turns into a demon. And if you don't have extra saves, which you often didn't back on the PlayStation 1 due to limited save states, or like save li save files, because, you know, memory cards were tiny, uh, you were screwed because you just could not beat the guy. I spent like a week or two weeks trying to devise strategies to beat him. I eventually just had to play start over again, play through the entire game. With that. And that's like late game, too. Uh, so Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League didn't save itself with Season 1. Have you heard of the low points? Uh, I heard the, the Joker DLC was not good, and it's barely anything in it. It's like one or two extra cutscenes, and then you that's it, and you're supposed to get more later. I don't know. I don't paint it. <laughs> like, the, the faster the game dies, the better. The better we all be. You think Shadow the Hedgehog is going to say, I'm thinking I'm back at any point in time? <laughs> I don't know, but didn't, didn't, isn't technically Keanu Reeves canon in the Sonic movie universe because Sonic was watching, like, Speed on a TV before? We used to play smart, did we? I don't know about you, I played really dumb, and I kind of continue to do so. I don't even know what that means to play smart. Uh, depends on the game. There's been games I definitely, like, I played that pretty well. And then games like, wow, I freaking sucked. You got soft lock in Resident Evil 1 because I used the square crank in the wrong place. You can do that? Hmm. Adaptive difficulty is cool if it's for more people to play more games, but in my case, like, be, like I said, as long as it's optional, I'm perfectly fine with it. Hello, Dorgan. How have you been, brother? You know what? I've been pretty good. I got no real complaints for it today. Had some good food, got some, you know, a bunch of work done. And now I'm, you know, technically doing more work by streaming, but it's hard to think of this as like a job. You know what? So, yeah. All positivity tonight. Seeing how you mentioned it, Final Fantasy Tactics, I posted a meme about it. <laughs> Did you know? Did you post a meme? You're pumped for the Elden Ring DLC? I still need to beat Melania. <laughs> That's like the one thing I didn't do in the original game. Men in Memphis robbed several McDonald's and Burger Kings. You know, if he'd gone after five guys, he'd be rich beyond his wildest dreams. That's where all the real money is.
Still haven't played Elden Ring. It's a pretty good game. I think you might like it. it. Takes a lot of time to get through it though. Just want Shadow to say I love Latina's Sonic. So you want like the fake dub of it in there? <laughs> Look, I, I want Robotnik to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog fucking his wife, but it ain't gonna happen. That's why I never play Resident Evil 1 back in the day and instead play Resident Evil 2 DualShock version with the infinite ammo cheat code. <laughs> Is that how you play it smarter? Use infinite ammo. Play smart. Use codes. You know, it's kind of weird to think that video game codes just don't really exist anymore. Like, those kind of like seem like their last era was the PlayStation 2. Like, you, you L1, L1, triangle, circle, square, circle, circle, L1, L2. Infinite ammo engaged. Now it's like DLC if you want that. You gotta pay for those codes. I think the last time I remember ever entering, in a entering a cheat code into a game was in like probably San Andreas to get... Because whenever you get busted or you die, you lose all your weapons in your inventory and it became a bit of a pain to go find an ammunition to buy them all back. So I was just like, okay, let me get all my weapons back. Enter the weapon code. Uh, but uh, obviously you can't do that anymore. That would defeat the game the way the developers want you to play it. The last cheat code was a Sims 4. Isn't that like brand new though? Or is not really brand new, but... Wait, is there a Sims 5? I have not kept up with the Sims. Yeah, I'm assuming the Konami code still pops up in games as like an Easter egg, but it doesn't really do much. It usually gives you like a few extra things. What are your thoughts on Liza P? Did you find pleasure in using your P organ? Why did you write that out so weirdly? <laughs> Find pleasure? I like- how about I just say, yeah, it was a pretty good game. I liked it. Yeah, I liked it. Not yet. I guess they- it, well, considering it takes like about a few hundred dollars to buy all of The Sims 4, they probably don't need to. Cheats became DLCs, what the hell happened, man? We let capitalism win, that's what happened, brother. You didn't come to the meetings. You didn't bring your little red book and wear your little red cap, and you didn't fight the power with your fists raised high. Blame society, but most importantly, I blame you. You were supposed to have been there throwing the, the Molotovs of justice with us. I would be a, such a shit freedom fighter, Chad. I would be so terrible at it. I can't do a, like a dramatic speech to save my life, or even like rouse like a anything. <laughs> I think you're missing a couple of zeros for the to buy all the DLCs for Sims. Look, I was being generous. I'm sure it's probably like over a thousand at this point. Can't we just blame ET? The dude who just wanted to go home? What did he ever do to you? You remember Daft Punk? For a second there, I had to think, are they dead? Pretty sure they just like don't really make them much anymore. Super Earth and Democracy? Well, I was making a joke about communism, not fascism, but alright. Stupid suggestion? Name your favorite green character. Link. I guess. I mean, alright. There you go. Very quick. One is dying, sadly. That's why Daft Punk blow. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I'm assuming cancer or something? They had a lot of good stuff. Daft Punk will remain in a halt for mine. Were they, were they the ones who started the trend of like wearing masks and, cup and keeping your identity secret when in that music scene of like, you know, DJs and like, you know, like, you know techno and trance? Like, no, don't let them see who it, who it is doing it. Do I watch One Piece? Uh, no. One, I, that's way too many episodes of anime for me to ever watch. And I'm just not into it, so I don't even read the manga of it. I, I think it's alright though, I don't have anything against it. It's just not for me. Fuck is Dak Punk? That is like, yo, know, the, yo, know, uh, yo, know, the Serbian version of Dak Punk. Dak Punk. Ugh. <sighs> 
I need to sneeze, but it's not happening. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get out. Oh, that's a bad feeling. Like, it's just like at the... It's like edging for a sneeze and it just won't happen. Why, why is the body like this? Like, you don't, ed, don't edge me with my sneeze. Just, just sneeze, goddammit. Easy then, just read the manga. I'm just not into One Piece, so I've tried reading the manga as well. I just didn't like it. It's just, it just not kind of, kind of story for me. I'm not too into shonen manga stuff, since it's mainly for kids. Um, so most of it doesn't appeal to me. Look at a bright light. That only works if it's the sun. Like a regular, unless you have like a really bright indoor lighting, which I don't have. At least not bright enough to activate like the, the response. You want me to play Lose Yourself to Dance? Why? Why would, what, why, what does that entail? Alright, I, I, hold on, let me pull this video game up, by the way. That's what you guys are here for, right? Video game? Hmm. You could use daylight bulbs or a light box. Okay, I don't have... I'm not going to prepare that hard for, like, a potential sneeze. Like, oh, oh the sneeze ain't coming. Let me get my supplies out. You Nine out of ten times, the sneeze happens. I don't have to, like, worry about it. You took an if you look at an eclipse, you'll lose your vision. If you look at the second eclipse, you'll get it back. Well, you know what? There's potential for a weird plot line for a horror movie there. Fake sneeze. Look, if you fake your sneezes, you're a worse human being. People won't trust you anymore. Attack on Titan Shingeki no Kyojin. The most controversial anime of our time. You mean? Show of hands, Chad. Who liked the ending to that series, huh? <laughs> you like the ending of Attack on... You know, that, that'll, that, that's how you, like, make friends or enemies no matter what. You were just watching Attack on Titan. Oh, rerun of it? Or are you, like, first time through? All right, so chat. Last time, last night, we wretch Silent Hill, uh, the creepiest place in uh, Pennsylvania, Maine. I'm not really sure where it takes place. That's the bathroom. I don't need to use it right now. Have I ever watched an anime called Better Man? Better Man? I've heard of it. I've never watched it. Got a cool '90s anime trope. There's one anime I keep forgetting the name of. It's like a joke anime almost. Uh, what was the name? Oh, shit. Uh, I, the only, I, I remember seeing a clip of it once. I had a guy riding his bicycle along a power line because he was like desperate to beat this girl on a motorcycle because she he was she like promised to show him or his show him her boobs if he won or something like that. They, like the entire anime, I think, is just like really cheesy gags. But, you know, sometimes I like a good cheesy gag. That's golden. Oh, golden boy. I knew it was golden something. Thank you. You love Chainsaw Man? I like the manga. And the anime was pretty good, too. But the manga is peak. Are fans of Silent Hill upset that Harry was killed in this game? I don't know. I never really paid attention to the fandom. I'm sh uh, I mean, possibly. I don't think it was like a le le uh, like a Last of Us Two situation though, where there was like people like like constantly like I can't believe it, they killed a boy like that. Hmm. Was it Abby's fault again? Abby is... Everything can be played, blamed on Abby.
and check none of these doors. Let me finish checking the motel out before I leave, though. I was going to joke about Harry being killed by a golf club. Well, I think he had his throat slit, actually. And it was while he's watching TV. <laughs> Time to grind the popcorn again. More Abby discourse? Nah. We're just making jokes about, you know, I don't think it'll lead into anything. What are you talking about? It's a non-controversial Abby discussion. You know, I've always been impressed how well they did the fog in Silent Hill for a PS2 game. It's got like actual depth to it, instead of just being like a single like texture in front of your face. Good job, uh, tech team. Every time you mention Last of Us 2 flashbacks of Abby taking sweaty backhand shop, flood my mind. Okay, that's called trauma, my man. You're getting like post-traumatic stress from it. Last of Us 2 chat was all of our personal Vietnams. Alright, uh... Okay, we're supposed to go to... Jack's Inn first. Oh, that's where we're at. We're, okay, so... Brookhaven Hospital, is it? But first, let us look around. need to go there. That's the wrong place to be. We also didn't render it. Just love watching the dumpster fire that was The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, like I said, I, I like making it for the game, but it's not a terrible game. It just has a kind of crap plot. Well, it has, it has bad plot points in it. And some manipulation in it. A little bit of little touch of manipulation. You think Last of Us 2 are my favorite VODs of darts? You like those? Killing hundreds of people kind of ruins the point. Yeah, it is kind of a little weird that they like... You kill hundreds of people in your quest for revenge, but when you... Then you're supposed to learn a lesson and not kill the final person in it after already, like, you've already killed hundreds at this point, it ain't gonna matter. There ain't no lesson to learn after you've blooded your hands that much. VODs where? They're probably, they're, they would be on my uh, Dardigan streams channel. Oh, which you can find a link to if you scroll down below the Twitch player and you'll see it under the YouTube banner. Most difficult game I've played? Hmm. It's likely not going to be like what you think, like a Souls game. It likely be, it's actually going to be some really crappy game that just didn't work very well. Uh, so, uh, I recall having a real hard time in my, at a very, very young age playing on a friend's NES. He had a copy of Super, like, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I think I managed to get to the, the infamous water level in that and beat that, and then I couldn't get any further. But that might be due down to me being a child. Like a itty bitty babby. That game was... The game was the shit? Yeah, I, like I said, I, I, I played it only like a few times because my fr I was like... I, we, my, I go to like a neighbor's house or something? And I think they had a copy, and I'd borrow it from the time, but I was like a little, little tiny kid. Oops, why do I not have a weapon equipped? I think you should remove your armor, it slows you down, but it keeps me safe and you know, it makes me warm. Also, I just realized I'm near death. Let me into the Bolorama. I must bowl. Am 
Like, I'm just like dicking around, not going where the game wants me to, and I don't care. I want to explore. Where even am I? Heaven's Night. Isn't that the strip club? Look, sit still, doggo. <laughs> this this is literally like trying to fight a monster. It's got a case of the zoomies. <laughs> made me like kind of pointless against some enemies didn't they <laughs> no more zoomies all right no more zoomies you have to drive home now i'll catch the stream later hey we'll see you drive safe man see you when you get back You know, I don't appreciate when I'm not awarded for exploration. No sure. I expect I expect my deviations to be awarded in some way. Is it kind of weird that this small re town has two hospitals in it? Yeah, the Alchem Alchemilla Hospital and now the Brookhaven Hospital. I think that doesn't seem like it's that big of a town. And they're really close to each other too. check out something else real quick uh what do you think resident evil characters would see if they went to silent hill they would probably just think it's like biological weapons again i mean why wouldn't they they have no reason to suspect anything else Texon gas. They'd also they would honestly do a much better job because they're actually trained for combat. <laughs> they, they they would kind of clean up in Silent Hill. It wouldn't be as big of a deal for them. However, I actually you know I take that back. Chris would probably be really screwed over in Silent Hill due to all of his like getting all of his team members killed repeatedly. Dude's got some you know real trauma he's dealing with that it could really dig its, you know, teeth into. Where am I? Still has a lot of ammo, true, but you know what, if it psychologically breaks him enough, could Leon survive Silent Hill? Most definitely.
Don't even have to question it. <clears throat> no wood in my heart of hearts. Yeah, trying to fight the dogs. Pointless waste of time. They're coded to be annoying unless you use a gun on them. What, what did I come back here to check? I can't even go down the road. The other road I want to check. You fear to imagine Leon's repressed feelings? It would probably be somewhat horny, just like it was for James. Just because that, that dude be peeking. That dude is peeking. Oh yeah, you, can't, you just can't go that way, huh? Oh well. Let's move on. All the sexual images of the president's- no, 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 Ada. Ada, let's, let's not involve the president's daughter. And apparently Hunnigan, if you remember his lines in the at the end of the the, the original Resident Evil 4. Hey Hunnigan, how about a date? <laughs> what? No way. Story of my life. You have to go to a gay bar? Why, why do I have to go to a gay bar? I mean, I could. There's one not too far from me. I just don't know why I have to go to one. You think Jill would do the best? Uh, probably. Yeah, either her or Rebecca. Either her or Rebecca would do the best, probably. To get an item in the game, I mean, I mean that's not. We're not doing that just yet until the game tells us to. And it's like in our path, anyways. I just been. I'm not really looking for anything. I just wandering around to see if I could like have some fun. Have me some fun. Going to the gay ball. Gay ball. Da da da. Why do you immediately know where a gay bar is? Because I don't live in like a big place where there was like it's not going to go unnoticed. It's actually one of the big. It's probably like the biggest you know entertainment venue in like the you know the college town near me. I don't think this is a gay bar. I think this is like the, the isn't this like the club that Laura looked at you. Know, Worked at? Wow, it is a rat hole though. <laughs> Real rat hole. Paradise, huh? It's one sleazy paradise, alright. But it's better than the paradise that Claudia is talking about. <laughs> Where's your strip club? Yep. It's a tourism pamphlet. I had forgotten it, but it's true. Silent Hill was originally a resort town. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day. From sunrise to late afternoons, a sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant, and your memories will last forever. Roger Widmark It's a flyer from a club. It shows a woman with long black hair. The return of Lady Maria from 8 p.m. to 27th. It's kind of difficult to get through here. Beef jerky. 
I don't think there's any item to get here right now. I don't know why I didn't have my flashlight on either. Yeah, there's nothing to do here. Just read the pamphlets. Does this door will be locked? I've mentioned before, I believe, that the only time I, uh, like, my friend tried to take me to a strip club is like I didn't even, like, get through the door. And, it, it, like, uh, they're just so bad. Wait, bottle. No? Shotgun shells? Well, those are, those are nice to have, but not really necessary. Heaven's night. You know, I think you have to climb over this this counter to get to the bar in the inside if you work there because there's no entrance. Come to a furry convention with you? Uh, you know what? I'm good, but I will support you in your endeavor. The bottom of the bar has shotgun. I did pick up shotgun shells already while I was in there. So I think that was all that was in it. Oh, I could get there. Unless you're saying there's something I missed. Yeah, there, there, it wasn't on the bottom. It was like right here. Grab them already. You forgot a key on the table? Oh my god, what? I didn't see anything. Pamphlet. No, I think you guys are wrong, or it doesn't spawn until later. You're just getting ahead of me. I'm trying to give me advice for something that's uh not available yet. There's literally nothing here. Yeah, you guys, sometimes stuff, you, you, if you're looking at a guide chat, which, you, you know, hey, good on you. Sometimes you're getting ahead of things and it doesn't actually spawn until you do something to trigger it. So there, I've checked every table, there's nothing here. As you can see, I have been thorough. What's up, Polly? How you doing? Shotgun shells, first aid kit, and beef jerky are the only things here for now. See, yeah, maybe later. Maybe later there'll be stuff there. You know, I still have no idea what the hell these things are. <laughs> Or what they represent. Maybe fear of needles? Get your breath back. <laughs> Hello everyone, what's up Aaron? How you doing man? Doggo. I still hate that I use the word doggo, by the way. Oh, 
Hey, look who's back. Back again. They ain't the sexy nurses though anymore. That was James's thing. These are regular nurses. This is where all the rule 34 porn comes from. No, that's Resident Evil 2. I mean, no, Silent Hill 2. Uh, a bunch of different types of medicine. But none of it looks useful. I guess I should just leave it all alone. Scum computer right there, like coffee and other fluids, soaking it. You know, there at one point in this game, Lisa was supposed to show up, like briefly. You would like see her in like the Silent Hill Hell World, but I think that it got cut. They thought, hey, you know, we can't really make this work. Some of the monsters of this game were just designed to be abstract monsters with no meaning. Uh, usually there's always like some kind of psychological meaning to the monster's design. Since the idea is that it's like pulled from their psyche. But maybe they decide to go with something different for this one? I don't know. But the nurses though do have like... Uh... Look, the nurses actually do come from her psyche because she, ha she had like a fear of the nurses when she was a child. Uh, in one of her different lives because they kept her alive despite all the pain she was in. That's why there were nurse enemies in Silent Hill 1. How you doing, Minzy? Hope your streams have been going well. And as well as life. Hmm. There's a memo post on the refrigerator. Food only. Do not store drugs. What if it's okay to store health drinks in here? Well, it is a hospital, so I guess that makes sense. Did you ever play Silent Hill Origins? No, I have actually never played that one. At some point I will. Hmm. Origins was hard. Mm, okay, that room, this room was just for health. According to the artist himself, none of the monsters in this game have hidden symbolism. He just designed them to be as scary as possible. See, I don't like that if that's the case. I like it when there's actually like a meaning to like the design. So strange hearing this voice without reading. <laughs> You mean my voice? Well, I'm reading your comment now, so you're getting both versions of it. Ding! So strange hearing this voice on that reading. See, chat, when I'm doing the dart against sin voice, I just, like, lower my... Lower my voice only slightly, like, you know, or at least the variance in it. From, like, the peaks to the lows. So it's more flat. That's all there is to it. That simple. But this, this this be my natural speaking voice. Lock is broken. Can't open that door. I don't think that's a door. What's my normal voice? This is my normal voice. It's not really any different from my regular YouTube voice. Like I said, when I'm recording lines, I just speak uh, more evenly. Without as uh, r much range on the ups and downs. Because I do very minimal audio editing. Because one, I want to save time. And because everyone says I like this voice, so I don't feel I need to change it much.
Uh, you sure you don't have a mic? I, I, yeah, I do have a microphone. That's how you're hearing me. Maybe I don't have a mic. Are you trying to like gaslight me? You sure you don't? You have a mic, Dorgan? Hmm. I don't want to use the elevator just yet. What about your Silent Hill voice? I have a Silent Hill voice? I don't know, you tell me, what is my Silent Hill voice? Alright, we still have some stuff to check out. Projecting voice directly into our hands without a mic. I am a talented man. I bet I can do a sick Bane impression. No one can do a good Bane impression. You have to have like a piece, you have to have like a, a cardboard tube in front of your mouth to even do it properly. <laughs> Doing it naturally is like super hard. Like, I've, I've tried it before and it's always like terrible. It's like cringe inducing. You get, it's, it's like a weird mix of both being a deep voice but a high pitch voice at the same time. There must have been kids here, too, then. I played with dolls like this when I was a child, too. Really takes me back. Ed, what's my best Edward Cullen impression? Is he like the sparkly vampire? I never watched those movies, so I don't know what he sounds like. This day has finally come. That's right, the day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. Haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. There, there, that's my Edward Cullen voice. Oh, how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prized doll I made to commemorate our meeting. The start of this everlasting love. Oh, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. We ain't taking that doll. <laughs> Disgusting. I won't touch that with a 10 foot pole. She liked it before. Like, nope. Came from a creep. Okay. Uh... Let's see. Uh, okay. Let's try the storeroom of the pharmacy. And this is the final set of rooms. I hate that I just whistled on into my word there. <laughs> Suffering succotash. Sexy nurses. That's not really a list, that's just like I can like I can whistle at on my S words if I choose to. Stanley. Stanley. 18 inches of mesmer, the impaling, the impaler in Elden Ring. This is actually real Bandai Namco said that in a tweet. Well, they're probably just trying to meme and get off on the same like joke of 18 inches of venom. You think they don't pay attention to that stuff? You know what, let's just use an ampule to get full health. Stop heavily panting when you fight nurses. What? You think I got control of the video game character's breathing? You ever notice that Silent Hill 2, you ran into all kinds of other victims in Silent Hill, but 
In this one, it's only you. Uh, there's a few dead people you come across in this game. Like, you come across one when you find the gun. Like, the first monster is, like, eating her face. Uh, but... Yeah, I guess there's probably not as many. Then again, all those, like, victims you come across in Silent Hill never made any sense. Like, who were those people? Like, Silent Hill is usually very, uh, selective on who it lets into its other world. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. point fighting all that. How much damage do they do? God damn. Oh. Just healed all the way. Disgusting. Won't touch that with a tin foot pole. But I will read the note. The organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will and make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk those nasty winches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all. Just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, oh, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. Yeah, got the ick coming, chat. The ick. There are a lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever was probably used, used glue, but why do this in the first place? a key glued to the wall. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. Can't even pull it off. You don't want to ask what he's been using to glue that stuff to the wall, by the way. Alright, uh, yeah, now we gotta go use the elevator. Uh, no, I did forget to check the bathrooms over there. The... Nur there's nurses in Baldur's Gate 3? I must have never gotten to that point. First floor down. Silent, Silent Hill has a serious case of locked doors. Yeah, that is one of the weaknesses of the series that you have to like just run your face across every door to check it and see if it's open or not. Uh, and then it's just like, oh no, this is broken. I guess they didn't want the world to feel like you, the, every door is like the one you got to go to. So they just put like 90% of the doors are unopenable. And it is like, uh, yeah, I definitely feel it's like one of the weaknesses of level design that they use for like the first three games. I don't remember as much in Silent Hill 4, I don't think. Maybe they figured out, like, you know what, we could do better than this. What have you missed? Uh, nothing much story-wise, we're just in the hospital now. You recommend Alone in the Dark remake at full price? Honestly, not at full price. I'd say wait for it to be on sale. It probably won't take it that long to be on sale either. It was a tiny bit plotting. Uh, it wasn't bad though.
Hmm. You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously. And so you're trying to get closer to me, that's virtue. Path up to a paradise. If the door is locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates, doctor. I've forgotten his name, anyway. That quack has it posted. He should be here, too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. It's a shame. I'm not there. Aren't you irritated? I long for you. But you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Stanley Coleman. Like, dude, can you shorten your tweets? There's a typewritten memo posted here. What's it supposed to mean? First is larger than the second. The second, twice the third. The third, smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Four, the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Okay. We gotta do math poetry, chat. Math poetry. The first is larger than the second. The second twice the third. The third smaller than the fourth. Hmm. Three of the numbers are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Alright, before I even try to solve this, let me check out the rest of the floor. Actually, there's not really much else to check out. Fashion magazine. Nail that. That we can use the key. Well, yeah, to get the key, anyways. What puzzle difficulty are you on? This is on normal. on the first floor. Now we gotta go back down to the first floor, get the key. what Silent Hill does better than Resident Evil is puzzle difficulty feature. Uh, true. But they only really did it for the first three games, I believe. I think they stopped doing it at some point. Look at the dad's notebook. Hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of you going away. Far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thank God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. <laughs> did, did it ever occur to you, Harry, that maybe you should have reported that to the authorities? That there might have been someone looking for the baby? Oh, free baby. Free baby. Take it home with us. No, 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 no reporting that to the authorities for Harry. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill, heard the girl's pleas, and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, 
Nor did she die. Return to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God. Alessa Gillespie. Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby. In that girl of mine. Of ours. Seven years passed before that half-girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alyssa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into, the, into this sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the unusual rites. This was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if it, her own existence were at stake. But that, wish was, but that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alessa. Or do you want to mention how actually it was the doctor who threw like some red goo at her? You didn't do shit, Harry. <laughs> it, was, it was all like, you know, Dr. Kaufman. The newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that, oh yeah, I shot it to death with a hunting rifle, by the way. All from that girl's and probably Alessa's conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. Uh, the whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't... Uh, I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now 17 years have passed, it feels like only yesterday, and again it feels like a million years ago. I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter, led to my led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she when you look at me, you laugh so even now, I can't forget about that girl, but I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. Can you have a bedtime story? That, that was not a very good bedtime story. That story writes out Sybil, Dr. Kaufman, and, and Lisa. Yeah, that, those were unimportant factors. Harry, did, Harry wanted to take credit for like, yeah, I, I, I killed it. I just I threw the goo myself. What game do you think does puzzles puzzle levels the best? Obviously, uh, saying like Portal One and Two would be cheating. Uh, but weirdly, I will say the the 2013 Tomb Raider game had really good like puzzle challenges in it because they're all physics based. Ooh, all right. Now let's use the nail polish. Yeah. And you know, where's you lost? You want to post my best of right now? Hmm. Harry almost deleted his new daughter. Well, hey, he didn't know she was even human. All right, so we can now get into the stairwell. My memory of this area isn't exactly great. For some reason, I never really formed like m map memory of Silent Hill 3. Unlike, say, Silent Hill 1 and 2. It's a wheelchair. Where's the person that was using it? And why are there bullet casings all over the floor? Isn't this one that make it the final boss unnamed you win instantly? Wait, is it? Isn't this the one that if you make it to the final boss unnamed you win instantly? Or is that for? I don't know about that. I've never heard of that before. 
No, the final boss in this game is a kind of ass. Just a touch ass. Streaks of blood as if something got dragged or continued onto the back of the shelf. No, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf. Can't squeeze into there and there's no way I can move the shelf either. Hmm. Yeah, there's a Uzi down here. Okay. We got a submachine gun. I really want to know who brought that with them into Silent Hill. Was this another Silent? <laughs> who could it have been? Mike missed some moo. Everyone misses a little moo. Uh, let's see. Moving on. Guess they must be in that elevator. I like that camera angle. It's nice. Chad, I am like a camera whore. I'm I am a camera angle slut. It's like, oh yeah, like, show me them nice angles. On honestly, I think it's because not that many games use fixed camera angles anymore. So when you get like good fixed camera angles in a video game, it's like, oh yeah. It's fucking damn near Dirty, but in a good way. All right, uh, let's see. I can go ahead and unlock this. And that's that door I need to open the puzzle of, but we're going to continue checking out the other floors. Tilt that frame. Yeah, give me that Dutch angle. <laughs> give me that nice Dutch angle. Like, the first game alone still has that famous moment in the alleyway. Third floor. Go all the way up to the roof. If we can. My side gig is shooting homemade horror movies. I've actually at times thought about doing like horror content. Of like, because my first foray into like content creation on YouTube was doing live action stuff. Uh, so I honestly would not mind at some point maybe trying to do like that again. And like shooting like some creepy stuff because you know I like horror. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Stanley Coleman. You're really on a super tramp. Have a good night, man. The door code is 4639. Oh, hold up. It might change depending on what when you play it. So gross. Am I getting backseated? No. Not that I feel anyways. But then again, if you're a streamer, you will always be backseated at some point. It's not that big of a deal. Is it 4639 though? Probably not. It likely changes between, between uh, on your plate, randomizes itself. Let me seem like it. It'd be nice if there was like some like contextual on-screen animation to show you to actually press the button. Have you played Poppy Playtime? I have not, actually. I've never played it. I've, I might at some point check that game out once it's complete. I don't really feel like playing it until it's done, though. Let's go check the third floor out. Also, it's been a while since I saved. 
8634. Like, well, I've, that's two different like codes people have given me. <laughs> but you know what? I will try out your code. I mean, we could sit here and solve it. I mean, it's that's certainly an option. But I've already beaten this game two times before in my life. I don't really care about solving every puzzle again. <laughs> That isn't, like I said, it's likely randomized per playthrough. Poppy's playtime is still in development. Yeah, it's like early access. You're paying for a buy chapter. I mean, technically, it's still in development. The gameplay, I mean, it's like a technically in early access. It's like going, uh, it's more like those... Remember how Doom was like you pay for chapter? Well, actually, I don't remember that. I wasn't around then either. But uh, like the original Doom, you paid for it like chapter by chapter, I believe. So it's kind of like using that model. Yeah, they passed up the third floor. Where like every year there seems to be like a new section that's, that's finished up. Put in code 36. 80, I'm good. We're going to check out this floor. <laughs> There's another code you need here for this one. Probably the same code though once you actually get the other one downstairs. I think chat is now just like, hey, try a bunch of different codes, Dargan. <laughs> Have fun with it. Wow, the camera's having fun with me right now. There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. Uh, something handwritten on top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing, this looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. This is now a number stream chat. <laughs> Based on what I'm seeing in the chat over there. Flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance, buddy, I'm blonde. My heart clamoring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. This is what it's like to be groomed, isn't it? Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. I should never have gone crazy, but it's superbly... But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. Is this the creepy glasses guy? No, this is someone else. This is Stanley Coleman. He's basically like, hey, what if we had like a groomer in our game? <laughs> Oh. Telling guys many numbers just isn't helping him. I'm obviously not putting the numbers in either. You chat, you can only pull that joke once or twice, and then I don't know why the rest of you jumped on it. It's like, oh, he fell for it one time. He can he'll, he'll clearly fall for it multiple times. Hmm. 
Hmm. Is something wrong with like the YouTube viewer counter right now? I'm saying there's only like nine people watching it, or did I like, or did stream die? I'm concerned. I might have to fix something. The num the numbers scared everyone off, maybe. Oh shit, that's weird. Yeah, it's probably like the YouTube. Yeah, all right, YouTube viewers. Let's 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 prove YouTube wrong. Post W's in chat to prove you're real. See how many people are actually watching, or if like YouTube is busted. Yeah, see, that's way more than what it's saying is viewing. See, see, chat. That's how you get actual math done. Yeah, more than likely YouTube's like whatever. Uh, server is handling like view counts is all busted up. It's happened before on Twitch as well. Got a stun gun battery. Health drink, health drink, health drink. I feel like you'd find better medicine than five hour energy drinks in a hospital. No, Dar, you fell off. You're washed up. Garbage <laughs> fell off, bro. You fell off during this stream alone. You have whole four people now on YouTube watching, huh? V versus all the people in chat talking. Uh, YouTube uh, is a creature of the night. It, YouTube is a, bit, a little bit Lovecraftian at this point. You, your YouTube sub page isn't even loading. Yeah, YouTube might be having some oopsies right now. Says four now. Yeah, it's like I said, it's uh, it's a little messed up. Uh, however, if the YouTube is going to go down. I suggest watching me on Twitch if you want to keep watching. Maybe open up a, sep a second tab. There's a link to my Twitch channel beneath uh, the YouTube viewer. Uh, just in case YouTube is like going to like go kaput. That does happen from time to time. Tried to log you out of your account three times? Damn. They, they gotta be having issues. guys are all your alt account so they realized corrected the numbers huh it's a hell of a brag here i was thinking i was actually doing pretty decently on youtube for streams turns out it's one dude YouTube is jank. All social media gets worse over time. There's a term for it called shitification. Kind of well known. Alright, the only thing left to do now is solve the math problem downstairs. It must be done. This is getting out of hand. Now there's more than two... Uh, more than two. First guy here before he makes it. Big, let's go. <laughs> really? First guy to watch my live stream? Now that you mentioned my YouTube channel isn't working either, yeah. That's why I suggested maybe open up the Twitch stream in another tab. Because it looks like YouTube is, might be going down soon. It's falling apart, chat. Falling apart. All right. Let's do math. First is larger than the second. Second, twice the third. Third smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated, so that's all four numbers are each an individual number without a repeat. Three are not in the top row. Doesn't that mean there are none of the numbers in the top row? Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Alright, so let me check the thing. So yeah, there's only three for a row. 
but it's basically like one and then another four but like maybe like yeah two are not in the right row okay so three are not in the top row okay wait no four of the numbers are not, okay all four numbers okay three you're not in the top row so none of the first three numbers are are part of the solution only one number from the right oh no row top row up and down i'm stupid being stupid chat it's row not column you know so not side to side Hmm. Or am I wrong? <laughs> Math class, I'm out. It will get through it quick. Don't worry. Don't leave me. I need all four of them viewers. All four of them viewers that are apparently like you know, according to the YouTube counter. You can hear the brain melting. You can the, what you hear and smell is the sound of my brain cells rubbing together. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, no, I, I was right the first time. Column, it would be if they were talking about, you know, up and down. So, top row has no numbers, only one number in the second row. So that leans like the other three numbers would be in the final row. And what was the f first is larger than the second. Second, twice the third. The third, smaller than the fourth. Fourth, half the first. Wait, how's that gonna work if, like... Mm, so it says there's, like, none of these are part of the code. And only one of these are part of the code. Then all three of these are part of the code. And <laughs> this is an IQ test. There's a reason I refuse to take any of those, because I don't want to embarrass myself. Chat, we're down to two viewers on YouTube. God damn, what's happened to me? What's happened to my viewership? How could you all abandon me in my moment of need? 8, 6, 34. I don't think that's it, but I'll, you know, because it's got a 3 in it. <clears throat> oh, shit, never mind. Yeah, I would have been here all night. 21 view tour, YouTube viewers, I counted. Well, yeah, I'm going by the official numbers. And how could you count? You have, do you have like insider information, Viva? You misinterpreted the clue? Well, probably, yeah. Very good. Very likely that I did. Because, oh, math ain't my strong suit. Do you participants? There's still quite a few people who have left, and it's probably because YouTube is fucking up, because usually it was like 70 or 80 before I started noticing, like, the numbers being off. So it's likely that there's, like, some people who can't access their, their account, or, like, the, the YouTube right now. Oh, yeah, you got a gun. YouTube sniping them ults. All right. One viewer. Yeah, like I said, there's likely a lot of people who can't access their account right now, so it's like everything's all fucked up. Oh, well. Oh, man, that, that gun really hurt me. It... The start time is my key. Now that's a great tattoo. There's a man's corpse laid down on the stretcher. There are papers scattered on the floor. Something's written on them, but none of them seem really that be important. There's a medical record here. Could this be for this dead guy? 
Uh, not admitted patient found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed carotid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assumed this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in same room. Have not noticed notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room in four. Nurses were scary. And, well, that's because they were scare rousing you. They were horny. They, well, they made you horny and scary. I'm just going to shut up now. <laughs> All right. That way we got elevator. You snoo snoo, I'm snoo snoo. What? First, we read the note before we re open the, you know, answer the phone call. There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not many more, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Ah, uh, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own on my chest since I can't cut it open to show you my heart? I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. Alright, so... Will you turn off the alarm? Stan has problems. What's called grooming? Okay, we're gonna like another another puzzle. So many puzzles in the hospital chat. YouTube is screwed up, no subscribers. Really? God damn, everything on YouTube is just busted right now. I'm surprised you can even watch the stream still. So he said what, the clock was the key, so... But there's only, you only get three numbers from a clock like this. YouTube says five of me. Yeah, like I said, YouTube's all sorts of messed up right now. Like a lot of people probably can't even access it. Uh, but hey, but you troopers who managed to like st stay alive during the great YouTube debacle, I tip my hat to you. Ooh. We love our banker entertainer. <laughs> I'm a banker, am I? All right, so this is reading eight... Uh, but that okay. This looks like it's missing one of its hands. Would that be, well? Usually, you don't. Uh, I'm assuming that's the second hand, the big long one. So this should be like eight, third, eight, six. Hmm. Or maybe not. Your subscriber found out you have a girlfriend. You have a full Japanese idol cancellation coming your way. What? I'm so confused by everything. 1368? Maybe. I was thinking it looks like... Mm. Look, are you guys just getting you know, the codes off of a website somewhere? Is that what you'd be doing? You don't trust in me? And it's wrong, by the way. Hey, right. 
See, this is what happens when I when I read a code off chat. The rest looks like a second. That's what I was saying, but it's still only like three numbers. Well, I guess if you're maybe you're reading the actual minute, hour, second. So if you're reading hour, that's eight hour. Minute hand would be. I think the minute hand is on the six, so that'd be eight three zero. And then if you're reading the second hand, nah, it's still too many numbers. Uh, you know your K-pop stars and K-pop stars, they had to hide their relationships or else their fans. Yeah, I've heard about that, and that's like really silly. Like, what the hell? The code is 1235. I believe you, by the way. 863 or 3 of the numbers? Yeah, but what would be the last one? That's the easy one, but... There's no obvious what the last number would be. Hmm... Minute hand is a long one. Uh, it's hard to tell because I can't really see where the rust, the the other hand used to be with the rust. Usually, I think the I think the long one was the second hand because it's the longest of the hands. Mm, but it could be eight six. Did I try? I tried eight six thirteen, didn't I? Let me try eight six thirteen, maybe. Oh boy, the people who don't like me are gonna like feel well. I have proof that he's stupid. Nope, that ain't it. You tried 1368? Yep, that's the first thing we tried. Hey, how you can only go in one direction here. We already know that, yep. Clock is wrong, by the way. It's 10, not 8, 14. Wait, what? Where do you get the clock is wrong? 69, 69. That's an intro. How would you even get that on the time, though? Clock numbers don't go that high. Hmm. Let me go check that guy's tattoo again. It's always time for 69. I like the way you think. Alright, so yeah, this was like the start time is my key. So the start time would be, wait, uh, maybe he just didn't, maybe the, uh, the hour hand is the, used to be on the six and he just let it keep going because he just never turned the alarm off. So it would be like, no, that's not, I don't, you know, I don't see how I'm supposed to get four different numbers from this, for these numbers it's giving me. Right, eight, one, three, six. Yeah, I guess I could try with a zero in the front number. But I, wait, didn't I try 
Yeah, I think I've tried that one. Uh, so let me try zero here. There we go. I, that's what I need to put the zero in it. That's all I need to realize. See, I figured it out, chat. I figured it out. Got an Insta camera. Nothing else interesting in the attache case. What was the clue again? The the cadaver's corpse had like the start time as the key. All right, is is YouTube still busted? Yep, looks like it. All right, moving on. Uh. Oh, whoa, 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 ouch. <laughs> bitches, stop. <laughs> Why do they even have rooms like that? Okay, I'm not too bad off. You got mugged, yeah. yeah. Thankfully, there's no puzzle in there. Uh, let's see. So we got the camera. Where would I even use that at? Okay, well, there's another. The third floor is where we go now, but it's got another. Like, do I use the same lock on that door? I mean, the same code on that door as I did the one down here? Because there's no puzzle for that one. Keep killing you, so we're just gonna do this now. YouTube watcher. Should we sing We Are Survivors? Yes. <laughs> that one had a gun. Yeah, some of them do. Nurses be packing. Only thing to do here. What do I need? Like, can someone give me the door code again? Because I kind of already forgot it. Because <laughs> I got to enter it here too. Unless this has a different one. What a great game. Did I use it to get the key? What is it? Did I use what? Did, yeah, I got the nail polish the for the door. The door, you know. Oh wait, thirteen. Thank you. Wait, there's no zero on this. No, this is a different code, Charmsy. This is like for the door here. 8634. Either I entered it wrong or that didn't work. And yeah, that is not the right code. There's no clue for this code up here, though. So if it's different, then I'm not sure what I'm supposed to get. Oh. Unless I missed a clue for this somewhere. Different code? Where would, Yeah, but where would I find the clue for this code, though?
brute force it. That would take a while, you realize. Use the camera behind the bookshelf. Oh, the bo oh yeah. I oh, you're right. I forgot about the basement. I remember this puzzle now. Hold on. Time is a social construct. Apparently everything is a social construct these days. room was it down here? Uh, it was one of the storerooms, right? Yeah, I think this one gets randomized as well. Five, four, three, eight. Heavy breathing. <laughs> Step to thirty. Oh, did it fix? Oh, is it YouTube reviving? Is is the world healing? We getting starting to get accurate numbers again. Welcome back, all those people who are locked into some kind of weird stream viewing limbo. What was it like in like? <laughs> You were essentially in the Silent Hill other world of the live stream, is the way I like to think of it. You're gonna make ramen? You can just make ramen? Okay, you're probably like instant ramen, isn't it? For some reason when you said I'm gonna make ramen, I thought, oh, there's full-on restaurant stuff. Which is doable, but man, that's time-consuming. Okay. Please tell me that she still has a photo on her. It was like 5438, eh, right? The viewing gave us the code in the chat. <laughs> well, the chat is usually helpful in that way. Yeah, we should be activating the hell world soon. You know, everybody loves a good old hell world. Is it porn? No, it's tabloid. The mag used some kind of gossip mag. Teaching despair, hope house. Hope House is an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind the false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society. Okay, that just sounds evil. The Smile Support Society. A charity organization, sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. Isn't that clan- Wait, hold on a minute. The 4S- wasn't the name of the plan in Metal Gear Solid 2 the 3S plan? The S3 plan? Selection for societal sanity. <laughs> is that a sort of sly reverence? But as it, at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, temporary, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers... And the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. It's a connected shared universe. It isn't, but it's just like a neat little Easter egg, if possible. In fact, this reporter this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility, 
What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, wasn't that... If I'm not mistaken, wasn't the concrete tower a level in Silent Hill 4? Because I don't think it's in this game. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it was anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent beliefs that they are among the elite, chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. Tissue and alarm clock. Huh. Clock's broken, but otherwise no big deal. Definitely Scientology. Hold on, let me like fix my chat. It's a little crooked. But do this and then boom. There we go. Fixed. So I need to start a new recording. Uh, are the cows still there? They disappeared on my screen. They're still there on mine. Don't all religions have a chosen people? Generally, most religions these days will say anyone can be, you know, enter into the pearly gates or whatever their version of it is. As long as you, uh, you know, devout. Are you devout? Are you a filthy sinner? <laughs> Come on now. God didn't want us to sin, he wouldn't have made sin so fun. Got the worthless beef jerky. That is such a stupid idea that they didn't really capitalize on. What if you like could feed the monsters in the game? And make him not attack you. Oh, it's the groomer notes again. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for this, his meddling, I'd have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I haven't been waiting for this day. For today, the day I'd see you, the day you'd save me. Today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is a no ordinary guy. Farewell, I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... Such intense cringe. There are a few that are not Druze and Mandians. You got to be born into that. I'm not familiar with those, actually. A Druze? Oh, there's one behind me. There's one behind me. <laughs> oh, multiple ones. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Where'd they come from behind? <laughs> Not cool. I just came from that way. Isn't Heather? Heather's like 19 or 18, I believe. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Where was I even at when I saved last? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I wasn't expecting death, alright? Alright, give me- I need the door codes again. I don't feel like solving these damn puzzles like a second time around. What was it, like, 86-34? Or something else. Oh, god damn it. 
Chat hero. Who wants to be a hero in chat? Who has the codes on hand? <laughs> so one of you is good with the numbers, right? 5438. That I already know that's wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. 54. Wait, five boy. Maybe it was. Wait, was that right? Oh, okay. I feel like these numbers are changing on me each time. Alright, we'll have to do the clock puzzle again, by the way. Okay, I wasn't that far off then. Okay, no. Okay, we weren't as far off as I thought. No, I want his toothbrush. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me prepare a gun. Wait, how much ammo do I have? 37, 10 shotgun shells. Okay, not too shabby. One with a gun is a bigger threat. Ow! Realize the nurses look like Alyssa, uh, like Alyssa from the first game. Only they have like the skin around their mouth missing. Sort of. Maybe I'm maybe not exactly like Alyssa. When we get their guns, sadly you cannot pick up the their right their revolvers and use them. Beef jerky. All right, uh, let's see. Oh fuck, I shouldn't have done this. I think this takes you to the other world. I didn't check every door yet. Hello? Claudia. No, I'm not- Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? 
Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I I'm... I can feel the hatred. Do it. <laughs> what? Behind Do it. Well, then you know where you are, then, don't you? I have a seal. I'm, I don't know where I am. It's at the end of the second floor hall. A seal? Man's a little confused, chat. He's just a touch confused. Hey, Garrus, have a good night. So, if phones work, shouldn't we be calling people? I kind of wonder how this guy knew to call this specific phone in this room as well. This random patient's room. Yeah, someone will definitely pick up in there. Bed stinks like year old sweat. Resident Evil 7, yeah, I mentioned that in my video, Resident Evil 7, that I think it was Mia, or Mia, her name was, always seemed to knew, know exactly which room in the house you were in, and could call that specific line. There's also a lot of landlines for a single home. Alright, so, we have this right here. Alright. I'm assuming I gotta get up to elevator control on the roof. Oh, no, actually, I gotta go back down to the second floor now. Yeah, we get the, I do have to redo the second floor, I guess, because it's apparently still unlocked here. <laughs> and Resident Evil 8, was it the same in Resident Evil 8? The only person who seemed to always know you where you were was, like, yo, the Duke. But hey, that's the sign of a good businessman. Gotta know where you had to make that single sale every time. Oh, Heisenberg. Heisenberg. Yeah, I think Heisenberg knew where you were once. Okay. When I was able to get hold of a phone, see, that's the thing about Silent Hill. These kind of rhetorical questions can always be answered by any diehard fan with, It's Silent Hill, dude. It just works that way. You're not supposed to question it. Everything's just weird and, like, dreamlike. So nothing has any logic. Which I find a bit lazy, to be honest with you. I think you can do weird and dreamlike, but still have proper context to make things even better. Right. I think this door, yeah, we gotta redo this area. What was the door code for this one again? Because we solved it earlier. This one might have been 8635, right? Or not. 54, that was the other upstairs door code. Four. Oh, okay, maybe it is the same. Okay. See, the, yeah, that's the wrong code, Chad. That's the upstairs. This is the second floor code that we solved earlier. Uh, but then I died. 8, 6, oh, 34. Dude. 
Good. Move him on. You have scored the internet for an answer, but have not found one to the question. Why is the name of this, the game series Silent Hill? Because that's what the town's name is. You, you, you really never figured that one out? That one seems that was the first. That was the easiest to question answer. Fuck bullets. I mean, it's harder to answer why Resident Evil is called Resident Evil than why Silent Hill is called Silent Hill. to solve the clock puzzle again. But that was like 0813, so we already know. I don't want to keep reading it. No, stop. Fuck bullets, dart again, 2020. Well, hey, I think everyone has that same feeling when they're aimed at you. Back to old grind tomorrow morning. Have a good night. Hey, courage. Have a good night yourself. Yeah, I know, I know they call, they landed on the name you know, Resident Evil because it's called Biohazard in Japan. They needed something more marketable. I just that Resident Evil is such a doesn't really mean anything in English other than like residual evil, which would also work as a title. Actually, they could have just called it Residual Evil, but it wouldn't have it wouldn't have had the impact of Resident Evil. I feel they kind of really lucked out by picking that name. I think for some reason that that hit hard at the right time. We don't really need to, the camera anymore since we already like just solved the puzzle by going up there. Camera don't help us any. Save the game. Are the nurses in this one mechanical puppets? Uh, I never thought of that before, but the sound they make, I don't know, I guess you could see them as that. I think Resident Evil invokes like your local evil, like, yeah, that's what I've always taken it as. But usually, which would have made sense because the first CO3 are based in like a small town. But then they kind of go international after that. Pyramid head, thankfully, no. They named it Resident Evil because a racist metal music band had the name Biohazard copyrighted. How can you copyright the term, the name Biohazard, when it's actually just a, like a medical term for like, yo, something dangerous? Which one did they bring him back in? That was in uh, Homecoming. He was just weirdly inserted into it. 
He just like shows up in like a cutscene and like yo looks looks at you then leaves. I think he's in one of the endings as well. Like one of the bad endings. Yeah, he was really only in it because the movie had just came out, which also had him in it for some strange reason. They're like, oh yeah, we could have him in the game too. Dex, are you like tearing up my couch in there? I hear her clawing at my couch and that makes me upset. Come here, Dex. Come here. Okay, I gotta go stop her before she shreds my couch. I'll be right back. Dex, stop it. Price is averted, I guess. But it's her couch. I'm the one who paid for it. <laughs> so I'm the one who's got, who's got the duty of protecting it from, like, her trying to, like, sharpen her claws on it. She's got an entire, like, seat that she's able to scratch on as much as she wants. No, wants to go to my couch. Do it there. You might be in heat. No, she's not in heat. Streamer energy. I actually did grab a soda while I was up as well. Why is she not spayed? Because she's an indoor cat, so there's no chance of her getting pregnant. So I kind of just never bothered. This picture... This one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it, but I know this one, it must be. Lisa does technically appear in this game. But they were originally going to have her actually be a character in it. What the hell? Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. That nurse, I know her. Lisa, who was so heavily, uh, heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird, though. She also tried to, like, fuck my dad. That was a little weird, too. Why? She has a scratch post. She'd just rather use my couch. Cause she's a cat and she's like, oh, this thing's, this thing's a bigger scratch post. Oh, you can't save here? Evil then is called Psycho Break in Japan. That is such a stupid name though. Psycho Break. Oh, this scene. This is where I think actually Lisa was going to appear as a character when you were like climbing up the ladder. You would like see her like is in what like in place of a lot teal there. How do you even like come up with like imagery like that? Also, if you were climbing this ladder, would you keep? Would you, yeah, you would not go all the way up. I'm sorry. You see that? You're like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. 
Who is Lisa again? She is a nurse character in the first game. The, the, the meat air vents. That's such good imagery, by the way. Oh, no, this is what was supposed to be Lisa, but they just put a random nurse in it. I, I never realized how big her, like, boobs were, though. <laughs> because on PS2, the resolution wasn't high enough, but damn, she's kind of stacked and thick and, you know, well, I guess she's meant to be. Oh, yeah, this is where Hell World goes off the walls. Like we got, yeah, let's make the walls move. Stretcher sort of half shoved into the room. I'm not sure what this is supposed to rip the walls are like based off of. It's, it's, it's like, it looks like stuff crawling in there. It's still like damn creepy though. I don't need to check this out. I like I like to avoid touching this kind of thing if I can. Lisa appears in Origins. Yeah, in Origins it's a uh, sets up how that Harry even like got a hold of like you know Cheryl. You need that wallpaper. <laughs> a great you know, desktop, man. Psycho Break sounds like a cousin of Psycho. Actually, Psycho Break sounds like the name of like a Dreamcast game, if I'm being honest. There's like tons of like Sega style games that had names like that. Cool. <laughs> the hand outside the window. And? <laughs> You want to let comment on the hand outside the window? Yeah, Origins is the one is actually like one of the few Resident Evil games. Uh, like, outside of like Shattered Memories and like Book of Shadows, which I don't plan to play ever, there's only like two Silent Hill games left for me to play through. Oh, I missed some doors back there. Stop! <laughs> Do that too many times, you're gonna fall. Oh, no, we need a gun. I loan you my copy of Silent Hill Origins, but it's for the PSP. Uh, I, I think you can play it on PS4 or something like that. I'm good. This is just a lovely sound, isn't it? Oh, such a lovely, lovely music. What doors are not trying? Put this on your iPod and like you when you go running. Yes, your iPod, not your iPhone. Check out the floor more. That 
see this, if they're dead or not. Some damage there. You want this playing at your wedding? Hey, I've seen horror themed weddings before. How many bullets am I packing tonight? Uh, 38 plus 5, shiny. I'm not doing too bad. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> this room. Uh, if I walk out, can I walk back in? <clears throat> what the hells? Oof. Oof. Get when it actually kills you. We need to leave though. We're going to open and can't even make it budge. Oh, we leave now. Yeah, you die if you stay in there. Does it activate again? Is it only a one time party trick? <laughs> One time party trick. Let me see it though. So pretty well known like it's probably like one of the more famous rooms in the entire series actually because of that. I like just having like a room it's not even a puzzle, it's just like we put this in here to be creepy and nothing else. Sounds like fisting a jar of mayo. That, that yo, Foley artists get to have a look. Foley artists are the only true free people in entertainment. They get to live out every single one of their depraved kinks. Stick. They get to stick their hands and make all into everything and make all sorts of sounds. What the director says he needs like really weird squish sounds, you give him really weird squish sounds. There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from it has totally filled the bucket set out below. Who would do this and for what? It looks like a full on bloodletting. You mean furry? What? I didn't say anything about furry, but alright, sure. Furries are I mean, part of everything. But, uh, fur you know, some furries just like to, like, you know, wear the suit, and that's it. Not all of them are, like, degenerate. That's a misconception. And now that I've defended furries, people will now, like, he's a furry. You cannot say anything nice about a furry without, you know, just being, like, you'll know, bathe in it. Like, you know, he's a furry. Secret furry. Just how it be. Alright, I think I gotta go down to the... Yeah, we gotta go down to the second floor. Yeah, finally admitted it. So brave. Be nice that the camera showed me the you know the thing. <laughs> There's a ledge there. I guess I don't have a map of this area, huh? 
Alright. Stretcher sort of half shoved into the room. Maybe it was being carried in. Yeah, whatever the... Whatever's on top of being brought in here. Alright, so we can't go down the stairs. So we'll go back to the other room. Heather's looking skinny. Look, this is, this is the figure you get when you eat nothing but salads. Basements now? That's new. Uh, second floor. Right, I'll try the day room first. Or not, because there's no door here. Oh, you stupid map. I've seen this scene meme so many times. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Oh, I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear. Who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. And I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one... Right, chat. Post your answers in chat. <laughs> <laughs> new new excellent poll for Happy next stream. Birthday to you. But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. There's nothing coming from the receiver. Well, duh, the phone's not connected. But what about that phone call? I know that and do I? Do I you think I know you that well? I I, I know many things, but not all of them all things. 
Fear you'll be cursed if I answered. People have answered weirder shit in this chat before. We'll be munching. Have you noticed this entire level chat has all been about creepy men? We've had like the groomer letters and that one dude who called us thinking we were like Claudia or one of her followers. And this dude who's like singing his happy birthday. There's nothing important in the trash. No use digging around in there anymore. Speaking of creepy men, you don't see that every day. Something strange is cooped up in the locker. I think I'm safe, but I shouldn't get too close. A blood-stained white robe hung up on the wall. Does it mean anything? A paper bag here with nothing but garbage inside. I just assume that's... I didn't assume any gender here, but I have to assume something because I don't think this thing has genders. Wait, is this how you like torture porn addicts? There's like hot women all over the wall. <laughs> and what looks like a porn magazine over here. Chad, if you were if you were what they call this is the ultimate goon cave. And this is the ultimate coomer. After late stage coomage. This is what happens to you after like 30 years of never leaving the goon cave. Uh, or you'll you'll never stop the coom the gooning. How far are we into the game? We are in the hospital right now. Coomer prison. Goon prison, no. He's gooning there? I mean, what else would you describe that as if not gooning? That is actually the, the quintessential goon image, you know. Though that's a pretty good goon room over there, too. Speaking of goons. There's always one of these coming up behind you. Hey, Poff, have a good night, by the way. What are we doing on ammo? Okay, I don't really want to... I don't like I'm still using ammo, but I don't have any choice against those things since melee isn't that good against them. Is 3 the shortest speedrun-wise? I don't know the speedrun time of it. Uh, I think you can definitely speedrun the first game, I think, quicker than any of the other ones. Of the main three, that is. The first game, you can, like, blow through it if you know what you're doing and where to go. I guess we go to a different floor. Hope to God the studio working on the remake of 2 doesn't fuck it up. We can only hope because it's Blooper Team. Blooper Team is like the ultimate Silent Hill 2 fanboys, or, or, or Silent Hill in general fanboy team. They have been gunning to convince Konami to let them make Silent Hill games since their inception. And they finally managed to do it, and they're, they're remaking 2. Uh, however, their previous games don't exactly give you a lot of well, hope that they'll do it right, because they've always tried to do the the psychological horror angle, but it's always been, well, messy at best. So whether they can pull it off or not, eh. And I don't have any trust in Konami either. Right, floor one it is. All right.
Can't wait. Uh, also never had combat systems in their game, or at least good combat systems. I mentioned this last night that you pr that I feel like Silent Hill is stuck in this weird limbo where if they have too good of a combat system, they'll be docked for that by fans. And if they have a bad combat system, they'll be docked by everyone else. Uh, it's just that diehard Silent Hill fans do not want good combat because they see it as like betraying the the theme of the game of being an ordinary person thrust into an impossible situation and you're not really trained for combat. But good games also tend to have to re require decent combat systems. So it seems like it's almost impossible to find the right balance of the two. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. Wow, starting off this tweet hot. If God's it's God's decision that I fight as a knight of honor. As a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, eh? I see this and I want to ask him. So you think you're one of the necessary ones? But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seals business somewhere before. Yeah, we didn't do that. There was a big bucket of blood up there in one floor, but we don't have anything to dip into yet. The games are set in friggin' America. We can, yeah, but not everyone in America is combat you know, trained. We all like to pretend that we are, but it's not the truth. are born with, yeah we're all born navy seals that's right i forgot i didn't mean to reveal the dark truth yeah, i don't need to waste bullets on you i can just kill you in a katana you know what let's see who's the high uh let's try the stun gun on We just call them floor simps. God, I'm using up so much ammo and I hate it. Alright, let's get, get the guitar out. Shit, wrong. Oh, this menu. This is why we have nursing shortage in America. Why they didn't keep trying to kill me? Wouldn't have to use lethal force. Where am I? Exception. Hmm, use the bag on the blood. Did I pick up a bag? When did I pick this up? I don't remember picking that up. I really don't. I must have like been like clicking on things on a shelf and grabbed it without even looking at the text. Uh, okay, where am I and where was the blood? 
Well, let me finish exploring this area, then I'll go grab the blood. There's a memo here on the chart. Dr. Midkiff. Please use extra caution with the patient room in 3112. He should still have his religious freedom here on the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. E. Crosby. Yes, it looks like the rumor is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person. Otherwise, though, it's easy to deal with. Why'd they invite Ethan to the party because he was a fungi? What? Because he was a fun guy. Does Silent Hill have more locked doors in Resident Evil? Yes. Usually doors in Resident Evil are meant to be opened. You don't really come across like a bunch of like doors that can never be unlocked. Silent Hill has all these doors that you are just never meant to be opened. That's why they're broken. It's just like... Uh, I like I said I I theorized that they didn't want every they want you to guess at which doors you're supposed to work with, so you have to like run up and check every one of them. I don't think it's a good idea though. That does waste a bit of your time. Okay, this is mm, blocked off. Okay. Fungi, like fun guy. Okay, that's that's a very difficult joke for my American brain to get. Or like my anti-pun brain to get. Okay. Here. Okay, actually, where was the blood the blood room? It was in the examination room, wasn't it? Okay, we'll go back up and get that real quick before we move on. How much of the game do we have left? I think after the hospital, there's only one area left, isn't there? That's like the, the church. Everything wrong with fun. I'm not having enough of it. So which one of these doors was it? Okay, we gotta go this way and down. The church is the last level, yeah, so we should be able to finish tomorrow. Let me just grab some blood. Put blood in a plastic bag. Got a plastic bag with blood. Yay. Just what I asked for Christmas. the wrong way. Wrong way. Is this supposed to be blood or rust? It's not any of that. It's just creepy. It's just what creepy looks like. To me, it's always been like a mix of like arteries and maybe like something crawling through your skin. Like a parasite. Don't forget the theme park. Uh. Oh yeah, you're right. That's pretty short. From you go to the theme park to reach the church. You're right. All right. So I'm going back down to the second floor now. Or actually, is it the first floor I gotta go to? Yeah, it's the first floor. See, so first floor. Hmm. Second floor is all locked off. Hope that's not Chris's blood. It's always Chris's blood. I'm, he, the, the guy is big. He's got a lot of blood to give. You know, I actually haven't given blood in a long time. I need to do that again. Not only is it good for others, it's good for yourself. Alright, this way. Or not, because that's a dead end. 
Hmm. Maybe the doctor's lounge? Nope, that's locked too. Okay, I guess I gotta go to the basements now. Or wait. Or was this room where I read the note at? I think there's... Okay, you gotta... Uh... Yeah, something about the cyber is mostly the blood of the criminals, but I don't remember where I use the blood of the criminals at. Not here, is it? Hmm. Should have just enough time to finish up the this place tonight. Oh, the hospital just loves math. So this one seems fairly simple, though. Assuming it's these with the ones with the bodies on it. So we got seven, three, one. Bot four. Though I can't tell which order those actually go in. Not that order. Uh, maybe it's four, seven, three, one. Shit. Oh. Look at the door closely. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Uh, wait. Okay, we got like quadrants here. And it's got like two, one, three. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let me think. Let me think. What does that even mean? What's the connection between the quadrants and the four and the four numbers? We want four and then a three. Then you have these other numbers over here. So, okay, maybe they correlate to the... No okay, maybe they correlate to these. So 
So maybe it's actually like two six zero five. I don't know. These are the kind of puzzles that just destroy me. I'm sorry. Uh, two one three four. But yeah, there's only like two one three four on this. Five is a zero. How are you supposed to know that, by the way? Hmm. I see the, the code you're typing in chat, but I wanted to at least understand the puzzle before I enter it. Because it doesn't really click in my brain. Yeah, th this is the kind of puzzle I would like to be stuck on forever. back see the code look i don't care like i said I, those kind of puzzles i don't really find particularly interesting so i don't care to get the answer from chat and i've already beaten this game twice in my life so i've already like done it before it's just that i don't really feel like doing it again you got a cremated key Okay, I think we go back to floor one now. Number on the cots or in the quadrants on the cover. See, I, th I thought that's what it was, but it didn't seem like it lined up properly to me. But it's like, it's me, whatever. With enough time, I'm sure I would get it figured out. But uh, we got, we're on limited time tonight. All right, through here. Keep from here. Here. We go down here and we use the key. I want to save too because it has been a while. Am I winning? Yes, we win every time we play video games, alright? You had it, you just tr tired is all. It's been a long week. I mean, I've been, yeah. You know what? Thank you for the good excuse. I'm just tired. Been editing all day. And I'm down playing like smart person games. Let me fix my YouTube again, by the way. I can't see everything properly. There we go. Nice. Let me crack these knuckles for some more extra game. <clears throat> yeah, Dart, you're just tired. You saw my blain, my my blain be blaining. I don't even know what that means. Oh my devil trigger. So much. Yeah, I'm shotting them up. I don't care. How do you miss with a shotgun, sweetheart? Oh my god! You know what? Just kill me. You deserve. I deserve it. I lost too much health. 
and I see you right before I walk through that door. I wonder if you guys can hear me over all that noise. We just run till we go through there next time, alright? running to in here. Pulling out the restroom. stretcher here. It's not just your usual stretcher. This is more like an altar of some sort. Lit candles and knife and is that blood I smell? Do they worship that picture? Something in the picture? The title is Lost Memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in blood which spouts red from the heart, and praise to show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned is the same book, The Victim is Burned Alive. Mmm, really no. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no, uh, no comparable rite can be found in religions practiced nearby. It may have, been connect it may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. Why did you bring a sword to a gunfight? Because you don't want to use too many bullets, that's why. And you don't always know which nurse is going to have a gun, but this is different. Seems like it was drawn a long time ago. Somehow. Let's put the bag of blood. I'm assuming this is where it goes. So did that make the ladder up here? Or did we just like... It just like guide you to your eyes to it. A little confused by that one. I believe this was in the yeah, this this wasn't behind us before. Oh, this isn't Chris's blood. Okay. You know, we'll never end up using this photo this photography camera again. Because we didn't use it for the puzzle. I mean, he's stuck in her image. What I got? Perfume? When did I get perfume? The perfume of attracts enemies faster if you use it. They like good smells. Leonard, where are you? Thank you. Now I can find 
finally leave here. Now Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. Well, I always wondered, how does this thing talk to us? It's clearly not human. And it, but it used to be human, but it got turned into the somehow. Why must we reward even the unbelievers? What are you talking about? About our plans, of course. It's true that God is merciful. But first, one must be chosen. Only we, who hearken to the voice of God, will be given the keys to paradise. Don't you think so, sir? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and think whatever you want. What do you mean by that? I mean that I don't think the way you guys do. I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever. You deceived me. I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about each other. I thought you were a normal person. So you tried to trick me so you can run off with my seal, eh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! I told you I wasn't trying to trick anyone. Where are we now? We're about to fight a boss. What is this seal thing anyway? Don't. The seal is mine! I was appointed by God to be its guardian! The only thing you'll get from me is a gruesome death. Okay, that is kind of like the incorrect you know, response to that thing popping up out of the water. I guess you're not a person anyway. I guess she, she, you know what? She's gotten used to it by now. This is like, like yeah, I'm gonna be sassy to this like sewer beast. Shawnee? I feel like Shawnee here. And again, none of the Silent Hill protagonists ever respond normally to any of this shit. This is like the first bit of music that's like a like industrial in this game that you can actually kind of jam to.
card by holding square. Guarding is worthless in this game. taking a lot of damage here, but or at least I think you are. You're not exactly good at this you know, boss fight, are you, dude? Like, ah, I, I like to pull around. Then wander around the completely opposite end of the platform. I'm over here, no nuts. I'm not gonna look like, waste any more ammo on you. What's up, hideous angel? What are you doing? You getting the Hanzo steel now? I just realized his face looks like an ego. It's like a waffle. Pour some syrup and butter on him, it might be tasty. I went in your house to sleep and I'm eating pudding. I mentioned pudding earlier tonight as one of my favorite desserts. Leonard's not here anymore. I guess I should head back to the motel now. I hope Douglas is okay. Huh? What's this? Got a talisman. Hmm. Good job, Dar. That was not exactly a tough fight. I probably didn't need, really need to use my shoddy so much. Alright, I think we, yeah, we just leave now, right? Yeah. Eat the talisman. It's not like a rat foil chocolate, you know. It's like a protection ward against evil. It's a shield of the Metatron, you know? A big deal in the first game, sort of. The funny thing is, it's always considered a big deal, but it never ever works. Didn't work in the first game, doesn't work in this one either. Is this, this is the way out. Oh, I, oh no, the way out is the front door over there. Tasty. Okay, you go ahead and eat the you know, the, you know, the Lord's protection. That why did you send her to my father? Was that wrong? It's your fault that he. Oh, but surely it's a good thing. Uh, it means he was one of God's beloved. No. Those who mock. God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this world. And I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. 
You hated your father, didn't you? I saw the way he hit you. He kicked you. You know, maybe don't smile while you're cry. saying that. <laughs> Cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes, yes, and that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. Understand. None of you. Vincent would be a bad guy. Vincent is a bad guy. He's just kind of like a, a asshole who's on your side, sort of. But he wants to use you. I don't know how how we're seeing that cutscene, by the way. I just couldn't figure out a way to put that in there. I guess. Uh, me too. I need to stick around in streams more. Dardian is a top tier YouTuber and I want to support that and spend time with the community, even if it's just digitally. Hey, well, hey, thank you. But, you know, always take care of yourself first. Streams are always, you know, the VODs are always there if you want to watch them later. Uh, so never feel that it's like you're obligated to watch a stream of mine. Or in, in me at all, or whatever. Just like, hey, if you got time and you want to, tune in and I'll do my best to entertain you for a bit. Yeah, I think we go back to the inn now, right? Yeah. Uh, but I, I appreciate you, even if you spend like just a few minutes watching, that's more than enough. We have a god point of view. Technically, a little bit, but not in the way you think. You really don't spend much time exploring. I think that is one of the weaknesses of Silent Hill 3. Is you don't really spend much time in the actual town itself. And what little time you is, what little of the town is there is pretty small. You don't really get like have any sense of exploration like you do in like one and two. You doggy. Puppy, uh, that is no longer a puppy when its head is split in two and it tries to eat you. I never understood why those two were having that conversation back at the inn in our room as well. Like, why would they go there to uh, converse? Look at that random motel. Looks like a perfect place to have this discussion. Red Lobster is considering bankruptcy. Truly the worst timeline. I I can be honest with you, I've never eaten a Red Lobster before. So the Red Lobster is like the fast food of seafood, right? That's the way I've always thought of them. It's like, oh, they're like, you know, if seafood get delivered to you fast. I don't know, something about the idea of like fast food seafood has always kind of been unappealing to me. I feel like a lot of restaurants, like uh, especially like the chain restaurants, are really suffering right now because uh, one, they're having to raise their prices up really high, and that is not what people go to those kind of restaurants for, is high prices. Like if the prices are going to be that high at that kind of restaurant, then you might as well go to a place that has better food. It's a buffet, you're thinking of Long John, oh Long John Silver. I think I have eaten there before. Where's Douglas? He went out. But he left a message for you. Was there someone else here just now? No, no, just me. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. Church? What he meant by that? 
You don't understand? That's where Claudia is. Across the lake. On the north side. If you're going, you better go through the amusement park. Is there really not a road not a road directly to it? Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far. But closer than heaven. Is that it for the message? Uh-huh. Thanks. Douglas really said that? What's wrong? You don't trust me? Every scene they had, one of his eyes looking at the player. Really? If that's the case, I've never noticed. I don't think I'll go back inside. I really should go to the amusement park. But I need. I wanted to save my game in there. Alright, so the amusement park. Up that way. Past the Silent Hill Historical Society. Fog a little too thick right now, by the way. Fog too thick. Fog too thick. I need a compass or like to see where I'm going. I just like keep going this way. I've actually been in fog this thick before. It actually is kind of rid ridiculously creepy when you can only see like three feet in front of you. Stellar fog. Gut fog. Uh, hearing this, his, this voice when it's not narrating bad video game design seems sacrilegious. I should only exist as like a pre-recorded voice, huh? I understand. Uh, but hey, thank you for checking out my Twitch chat. Uh, Garrett Gunnerus? I probably just butchered your name, sorry. Uh, but yeah... I feel like I get that comment about the way my voice sounds and it, it like people are so used to hearing it only in like a YouTube video. So hearing it live, they're like, wow, he really does sound like that. That happens like almost every other day now. Since I've started streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Oh, they just like skip you to the park. Howdy park. What's up, Adam? White as well. Another first time shatter. relaxing voice. I really do need to start my ASMR channel up. I am just like apparently leaving a fortune on the table. I just need to be like reading like ASMR videos that people sleep to. Like I have to, I'm going to have to like legitimately consider like buying an ASMR mic now. <laughs> because this is just a repeating, you know, trend. And I'm going to have to like eventually like test it out. However, the idea of ever doing ASMR just seems cringy as hell to me. Do guys even do ASMR? I thought that was like strictly like a woman thing. Like usually it's like, well, like when it comes to smoking ASMR. Usually like ladies. ASMR voice acting? I, I don't feel like I could do voice acting very well. Like I, I really only have this voice and I feel like you need more range than that. Like what would you even cast me as, chat? Giant rabbit costume. Isn't this the mascot from the local amusement park? I don't want to look inside. Something that smells terrible. A nightmare come real, girl. Your nightmare be real. Also, Apex, uh, thank you for your, uh, your your second month of membership, by the way. Hi, I'm back. Hey, welcome back, man. <laughs> I think you're officially, like, the first, like, repeat member, actually. I think. It's, like, the first time I've seen that message of, like, a repeat member. You'd be brilliant at voice acting. Here's the thing, I kind of hate reading lines. 
So the idea of like sitting in like a recording booth all day recording lines for some project. Oh god. I'd probably like, oh man, this is terrible. Or who knows, maybe I wouldn't hate it as much if I had someone directing me. You could play so many different characters, dude. I don't know, I've never really felt like there's like a good character that matches my voice ever. You could be an audiobook reader or make creepy pasta. See, I've getting into the audiobook reader stuff seems very difficult and also it doesn't even like for the most people who do it, they're like reading like a couple they're like doing a couple books a month and they're not even making that much money off it from what I know of it. Oh, you're back, are you? You doing this again? So I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just running from you. You guys are pretty easy to avoid. I ran right into a dead alley. Sexual audio recordings. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. What are you talking about? Make a character then, like all of Sean Connery's roles. I mean, the probably were made specifically for him. Well, he he was just like the first Bond. Like other people got it later. All right. Bunch of toys on display. Thank God, beef jerky, I'm safe. Uh, same here, good money too. One is. I've done some myself and it was very fun. kind of disappointing they didn't change the, the flavor text for the descriptions of stuff you click on from her time when she dreamed of this place at the beginning of the game. Voice over work? I mean, hey, if anyone wants to hire me, I would consider it. I guess you have to, like, do stuff first, though. You have to, like, make a voiceover reel and, like, put yourself into, like, some kind of circle of, like, you know, to get hired for it. Not just expect them to like check out random YouTube videos and Twitch streams. Like, oh, that guy, him. We want him. Sweet seemed to have fallen over from the shelf and gotten crushed. It wasn't part of my dream. Everything here is noise. Those could li definitely, uh, definitely need the bigger uh, things than the what? Having a dimmer wheel. Did you get the key? I don't think I got the key. No. Might want to get. I forget where you get the key at actually. In the shop, what the shop, the candy shop? I didn't see it in there. 
I gotta run past the noise filter again. <laughs> So this cookie shop? Key. Yeah, we can't actually progress without that. I think we just get run over by the roller coaster. We don't. We've <laughs> mm, been doing it also for the simple fun. We got an, uh, another aspiring actor in chat. sauce. What's my health like? Probably not great. Yeah, probably not great. Uh, do you think Silent Hill was inspired to an extent by the Twilight Zone? It's mainly inspired by uh, Jacob's Ladder, actually, when you're talking about movies. What the hell is this? I feel like I'd catch, could catch something nasty if I touch it. Uh, I guess, be, I guess it could be someone's leg. I think we'll get run over by the roller coaster now. Two leg bones, that's what we call an Among Us, actually. It just got two bones sticking out of it.
chat for those of uh, for anyone who knows uh what is the best version of siren to play is it the original siren on ps2 or is it the ps3 ver remake they made of it or is that even playable on ps4 or something uh oh it's gonna kick back on is it PS3 remake, the the second was well, the second siren was bad. I hired you to find the girl. And you performed serviceably. What is it now? You lied to me about The soundtrack is so weird by the scene. I don't like being used. Lie? What lie? That Heather was kidnapped. But it's true. She was originally one of us. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah, but she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him. Deceived, because her true self had not yet awoken. She carries God within her. But when a lesser mother of God truly awakens, yeah? What's gonna happen? She will usher in the eternal paradise. <laughs> what kind of place is that? A place with no pain, no hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. Tell you, I've always heard Siren this, is the tough game. No that, no nothing. Paradise. But it's primarily like a stealth horror game, isn't it? Castrated sheep, maybe. Sounds pretty boring. I pity you. You still don't understand. You're going to kill me? Is it really so easy for you? Done it before. Then I truly do pity you. Well, thank God we landed on something soft, the roof of this, yo, know, concession stand. <laughs> There's, yeah, there's combat, but it's like limited. You're mainly trying to avoid being seen by a lot of enemies. It's, it's also like a bunch of characters in it as well, I believe, right? There's a ticket booth, but there's nothing unusual about it. Circus. Mm. See, with the, these, like this, this get up, this actually feels like it is actually manufactured with the fake tombstones and jack o' lanterns. The jack o' lanterns kind of ruined the. <laughs> Kind of ruin the the the, the horror ambiance. Makes it feel fake. I enjoy a big old meat. Don't we all enjoy a big old meat circus? They all ha they have their place. A 
Are we ready for the inspiration of Silent Hill Downpour? Uh, I'm confused. What do you mean? so glad you came. Please come inside and look around. When you feel you're ready, then go through the door. Help! Help! Do you hear those voices? A family of four was sliced into bloody pieces in this room. See, Chad, this is the kind of voice acting work I could do. The murderer was caught. Do you know why he said he killed his family? Because I felt I had to! Anyway, I'm lying. It's all just a joke. I wanted to scare you, that's all. The truth is, only one person died by suicide. Uh, we use the term unalive now. Haunt, yeah, having a, it's kind of weird to put a haunted house in a Silent Hill game. Because the entire game is essentially a big haunted house. So having like, oh, the, the fakey haunted house, like, but why? That's Danny. A quiet young man, but quite friendly as you can see. He was so eager to meet you. His hometown is New Orleans. But he came here after first losing his way. Oh, maybe you might know. Where is the path to heaven? Is, it, is this real? This is real dead body hanging here. I don't think they meant for this to be part of their attractions. Who would have done this? This is the doll in the chair. Is Danny the doll, or is Danny that hanging thing? This mansion is quite old, so please watch your step. Sometimes that the jump floor scare gets everyone the first time. Didn't get me. And beneath the floor, there's nothing. I like. I kind. I do kind of like that. The only jump scare they really have in the game is like the fake haunted mansion. I'm so sorry. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. There's the exit. I hope you enjoyed your tour. Please come back anytime. Or On hard mode, the spike roof can kill you. So you gotta like beat it. And visit you instead. Ah, that was supposed to be the exit. But it seems that no one wants you to leave. Everyone really Oh yeah, this shit. Oh yeah, you're right. This was the inspiration <laughs> uh, for uh, Downpour. The weird light that chases you. Oh man. Maybe I should have saved inside rather than outside as well. That does seem like a pretty good stopping point for the night though. Since we'll be beating this tomorrow. <coughs> and then we'll have to like redo that little short section. Got pre Bioshocky real fast. Bioshock. I like that Bioshocky as a descriptive noun now. <coughs> I think you have 100 bits though, uh, Luggy. Uh, yeah, chat. We'll call it here for the night. Finish this game up tomorrow. Then I will like finally be able to like you focus on finishing up that FF7 video. Because we're in the final stretch of that. And then, yeah, you know, basically going to have three videos for you all at once. For those who want it, anyways. <laughs> but technically, the FF7 video is the length of, like, three videos stacked together, too. <laughs>
for, but uh, that's it for me tonight. I'm going to take it easy, get a lot of sleep tonight so I can get a lot of work done, then finish. Oh, that Pepsi is trying its best to come out of me. And now the wrong hole, too. And stream for you after that. So thank you for joining me tonight, chat. Follow me if you're new. Subscribe, follow, whatever it is that you're on. Thank you for the for watching me tonight. Thank you for any membership, subs, bits, super chats, any of that as well. Thank you to the wonderful mod team, too. Get a lot of updog tonight. Thank you, updogs. <laughs> Haven't heard the updog meme in quite a while, actually. I think D's Nuts kind of like took updog's place. I don't think D's Nuts has been totally replaced yet either. <coughs> Other than like Among Us and Seuss. <coughs> all right, but I, I am all out of like anything part particularly funny right now. Because I'm basically just saying, you know, D's Nuts and Among Us. Uh, chat, have a great night. I will see you tomorrow. Later, everybody.